This presentation is regarding the proposed Maplewood Senior Living Development. On April 21st at 6 p.m., the Community Design Review Board will review this project. Later that evening on the 21st at 7 p.m., the Planning Commission will then review the project and hold a public hearing. For more information on electronically joining these meetings and providing public comments during the public hearing, please visit the City's website at www.maplewoodmn.gov. Augusta Development is proposing a 119-unit senior housing facility to be located at 1818 and 1832 Jarvis Court. These two properties are the existing home of Saints North, an entertainment center, and an office building. Both these existing buildings would be demolished in order to construct the new housing facility. In order to move forward with this request, the applicant is requesting approval for a comprehensive plan amendment, a plan unit development, lot division, and design review. The city's existing 2040 comprehensive plan guides both properties as employment. The zoning of the 1818 Jarvis Court parcel is light manufacturing. The 1832 Jarvis Court parcel is zoned limited business commercial. The applicant is requesting approval to re-guide the comprehensive plan for these parcels to high density residential. And the project would then rezone the two parcels to planned unit development. Of note, the land use requests require four fifths of the council to approve this, plus met council approval would be required. In terms of the comprehensive plan amendment, high density residential allows up to 25 units to be constructed per acre. The combined site size of the two parcels is 3.79 acres. City ordinance does allow density bonuses to be granted if certain metrics are met. These metrics include providing underground parking, dedicating open space, dedicating landscaping dollars to the planting of trees, and providing units above three stories. The applicant is proposing elements in all four of these areas which would increase the site size by almost an acre for a total of 4.77 acres. When considering 4.77 acres, the allowed density on this site would be 119 units, which is what the applicant is proposing to build. The applicant is requesting approval of a planned unit development. A residential PUD means a type of development characterized by a unified site design with five or more dwelling units. Also, PUDs allow the City Council to grant flexibility from strict ordinance compliance. The applicant is looking at three areas in terms of flexibility. The first being parking. Ordinance would require for a 119 unit building, 238 parking spaces. The applicant is requesting approval of 180 parking spaces. Of those 180, 68 would be underground and 112 would be on the surface. Staff does feel this is a reasonable request when given that it's a senior housing facility where parking is in much less demand. The next area is floor area. The city ordinance requires a minimum of 580 square feet for studio and one bedroom apartments. The applicant for its studio units is requesting a minimum of 485 square feet. For its memory care units, the applicant is requesting approval for 434 square feet. These are similar requests that the city has approved for other senior facilities in the city. The last item is building height. This building is proposed to be four stories and 53 feet tall. City ordinance requires conditional use permits for buildings over three stories and 35 feet in height. Staff does not have any concern with a four story building of this height to be located in this part of the city. The next three slides will detail the design review for this project. The site will be accessed by two drives from Jarvis Court. On the west side of the building is the main entrance. Parking is provided to the north, west, and south of the building. Finally, the applicant is working with the watershed to make a wetland determination. South of the site and north of Highway 36 is a low-lying area that 
is being determined if it is a wetland. If the watershed determines that it is a wetland, the applicant will be required to meet all wetland setback requirements. As previously mentioned, as previously mentioned, the building will be four stories and 53 feet in height. The elevations will be constructed with a masonry veneer in combination with manufactured siding, panels, trim, together with windows and metal balconies. The applicant's photometric plan is in full compliance with the city's requirements. The applicant's tree preservation and landscape plans show that 135 significant trees are on the two sites. 115 of those trees will be removed. The landscape plan shows 76 new replacement trees. In addition to the trees, numerous shrubs, perennials, and grasses will be planted throughout the site. The applicant intends to pay into the city's tree fund to fully comply with the tree preservation ordinance. Finally, city staff mailed neighborhood surveys to the 13 properties that are within 500 feet of this project. In addition, a form was posted to the city's website allowing another avenue to provide comment on this project. In total, city staff received one response on this project from neighboring Redeeming Love Church who is supportive of the project. This presentation is also being posted to the city's website prior to the CDRB and Planning Commission meetings. A public hearing is being held on April 21st at the Planning Commission. This meeting is taking place electronically, but neighbors and residents and interested parties are still able to provide comment directly to the Planning Commission. Overall, the staff is recommending approval of the requested items detailed in this presentation.